Interacting with a computer might have been a very different experience if the research of Dr. Douglas Engelbart was never funded. In the 1960s, the Air Force Office of Scientific Research, now a part of the Air Force Research Laboratory, awarded a basic research grant to Dr. Engelbart. His research was to focus on augmenting human intellect and the potential for computers to assist people in complex decision-making. In 1961, Dr. Engelbart sketched a device that used a pair of small wheels rolling on a flat surface. The two wheels corresponded with the computer display's X and Y axis. The computer could track their combined rotations and move the cursor on the display accordingly. The AFOSR grant allowed Engelbart and his research staff to compare off-the-shelf pointing devices. Engelbart also reviewed his earlier notes with his lead engineer, Bill English, who built a prototype of the sketched input device. This was the first computer mouse, so named because of its superficial resemblance of the cute rodent. The mouse decidedly won and was then included as standard equipment in their research moving forward. Engelbart and his team would go on to make significant contributions to what would become the graphical user interface and were involved in the development of ARPANET, the precursor to the Internet. The mouse has evolved from a simple wood block with metal wheels to a solid-state, laser-driven device with many different features and options. With over a billion units sold, it is the indispensable device for controlling modern computers.